Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspired by dreams. Dot shop and we got everything from hoodies snapbacks a little something for you to just get your drip on okay today's episode we're talking about celebrity worshiping now when it comes to people just worshiping celebrities it's a sad thing just to know that you wouldn't put that type of love within yourself or even look up to the higher power God, but you would rather worship somebody that you see on your TV screen or on social media to the point where nothing else matters to you and you'll do anything for that person that doesn't even know you. So you guys let me know, leave your comments down below. Do you know anybody that's just super fanned out worshiping these celebrities? and it changed their life? Leave your comments down below. Let's jump right into it and see what's going on. Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Stop worshiping celebrities so much. Just don't listen, don't pay attention. If there's one thing that I feel like we all should learn when it comes to this whole situation with Diddy, and Cassie is to know that we should definitely stop praising and putting these celebrities on such a high pedestal because when I was listening to Sloan Bella's um, channeling of Kim Porter, she was talking about how Diddy was literally pulling, like harnessing the energy. And granted, we already know about them harnessing energy, but he was like harnessing energy from Kim Porter's like like her death like he was taking it from her being and trying to like mask her energy you get what I'm saying like he was trying to take her energy and like put it on himself after she died but she blocked him that's crazy right it's really crazy that what they're Met Gala tickets are $75,000 Actually, let me, let me rephrase this. Celebrities pay $75,000 to sit around in this echo chamber of their own fucking narcissism while they congregate in their little District 1 inspired outfits while they're serviced by District 12. And then they'll have the nerve to try and relate to us on some personal level, like they know the average American and they're gonna tell us who to vote for and what to fucking do with our lives. And I have one thing to say about these fucking people. They have no conception of reality. They don't live in it. $75,000 fucking dollars. $75,000. $75,000. I had to relocate because it's hot outside. I hate to burst this bubble, but celebrity worship is over. I am not somebody who seeks pleasure in the downfall of anybody, but I do know that the amount of idolization that we have placed on celebrities is almost crazy. And us spiritual people, we've been seeing this shift come for some time now. The downfall of the celebrities as we know it is happening. The world is changing. Even though I don't like to see the downfall of anybody unless they truly deserve it, there comes a time when enough is enough. And it's time that we start idolizing people that are truly doing something for the people because we need more people that are lifting our society up, not tearing the people down. We as a society have placed so much idolization on people that genuinely could give a fuck less about the people at all. We as a society have given away our power for far, far too long. And it's time. It's honestly time that we stop idolizing people for the way that they look or the way that they dress or the fact that they're driving this expensive ass car or the fact that they're wearing Balenciaga. It's time we start idolizing people that genuinely are doing something to better themselves, that are genuinely doing something to help better other people's lives. This is Pluto in Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius. It is about the people, it is about our future, and it's about us coming together and rising together and for that i am truly proud genuinely proud of where our world is going it's time welcome to the revolution with 2024 being the year that hollywood and a lot of the awful things that went on finally being exposed can it be the year that we finally do away with celebrity worship it's weird it's a weird thing that we do you don't see any other species of animals 
do something like this. Do you look outside and see a bunch of birds just obsessing over one of the birds in the pack and be like, oh my God, I saw you in the TV show that I like. No, it's because it's strange. It's a strange thing to do. It's just a bird. They're just people. They're just as weird and as flawed and fallible and stupid as anybody else. And there's a very big difference between having an idol and celebrity worship. I think having an idol is good. Whatever your particular trade or passion is, I think it's healthy to have somebody that you aspire to be, somebody who's you know very great at that particular thing. I think that's totally normal. But as soon as you feel the need to get involved with the intricate details of their personal life of like, oh, I wonder what uh, church they go to and who are they dating, like, it's strange. You should apply the obsession you have for their life to your own life, and then maybe it would go better. You have to consider what it does to the psychology of a human being when they are given a God complex and they think they're above things. It's gonna turn them into a monster who abuses power and does horrible things. I don't know if this is just my thought process, but I feel like people who- And let me just say this real quick. It's nothing wrong with being a fan of somebody, a fan of a celebrity, a fan of your favorite artist, but when you worship somebody, it's going too overboard and this is how mental health and all this other crazy stuff starts happening who are overly obsessed with celebrities have mental health disorders because there is just no way you can be infatuated and crazy about a human being who breathes just like you breathe blood runs through their veins just like blood runs through your veins like why are you guys overly obsessed with with these celebrities like i just i don't i don't get it I don't get it. Like, put that much time and attention into loving yourself versus being overly infatuated with these celebrities. One of the weirdest things to me is when people idolize celebrities. Like, I can understand appreciating somebody for the art or the entertainment that they provide, but some people really be meat riding these celebrities so much that they, they are based their whole personality off of that celebrity. And it'll be so crazy to the point that, like, if you say something bad about that celebrity, they will almost feel personally attacked, like you like you attack them. And I've seen this over the past couple of weeks with this Kanye shit. Like, if you go look at any post on any form of social media of any post that goes against what Kanye says, bro, and you look in the comments, you will see drones of his fans going in the comments, repeating Kanye's rhetoric, bro. It's literally sick and creepy as fuck, bro. They'll literally re repeat what Kanye probably would say. They'll literally be like, oh, you're not Kanye. You're not at Kanye's level. You're not a billionaire, so you would never understand. <laughs> like, bro, you're not a billionaire either, so what makes you think you understand? You don't have too much more insight into Kanye West's life than I do. <laughs> like, motherfuckers be acting like he and they uh, sat down and had dinner with Kanye and shit, bro. And people don't even realize how dangerous that form of thinking is, thinking that just because somebody has a certain amount of money or a certain amount of power that you can't speak on them or that that um, they are outside of your realm of accountability. Like that shit is beyond wild, bro. Like that's such a dangerous mindset to have. And that's the mindset that leads to pretty much every single problem that we have in the world today. People feeling like they are out of reach of accountability, bro to the point to where it's like oh i got all this money can't nobody say or do shit to me that mindset is dangerous as fuck and the wild part about it is that a lot of these people would be tight if kanye was was like an old white man doing the same fucking thing bro but because he got skin like ours and he makes shoes and makes some music motherfuckers be wanting to give him a pass and this shit go for any celebrity i'm not just grilling kanye fans like this shit really go for any celebrity like these are fucking people y'all y'all have got to understand that shit like, they live and breathe like we do. Them motherfuckers could literally be unalive tomorrow. They're not, like, y'all gotta understand that shit. Just because a motherfucker can make some art, can make a song, can do this, like, at the end of the day, they, they, not, know, they not know super motherfucker that, that's, like, you know, impervious to everything walking the planet. They not impenetrable, you know what I'm saying? Like, these motherfuckers ain't living forever, you know what I mean? They gonna get old just like we get old. Somebody else gonna take their fucking place. Get these celebrities' meats out your mouth, bro. It's not fucking healthy. I'll speak on one thing in the black community that needs to stop, and that's the celebrity worshiping. Stop worshiping these celebrities, because these motherfuckers don't care about you. They don't care about the hood you live in, the community that you're in. They don't talk about none of that. They don't. Only thing they care about is lining up their pockets with the dumb shit they feed them. 
then y'all eat it out of the palm of their hand. Stop worshiping sexy red. That is nasty on every level. On every level. She should not be a hero in any young girl or, or, or grown woman's eyes. Men, young boys, young men, stop listening to these who go out here, trill and kill shit, rap about it. These are murderers. You're idolizing murderers. You have people, our community leaders, our activists, you don't look up to them, but I really do wish that the love and support that y'all show these celebrities, I really wish that y'all would show the same love and support to yourselves. The same way y'all stand up and go to war for them, it's the same way y'all need to stand up and go to war for yourself. Don't get me wrong, you can like a person's work, you can feel like they really good at what they do, they job, singing, dancing, acting, whatever you want to call it, sports, whatever, right? But at the end of the day, they just people. Like you deem them worthy to sing praises to and celebrate because of their popularity, their money, and their status, right? But you can't praise and celebrate yourself because you're so busy looking at the next person that you feel like is worthy because of money, power, status, or whatever it is that you're talking about. True wealth is actually doing the work to work on yourself to be a better person. That's how you break those generational curses, bro. And if we're going to keep it a buck, most of those celebrities are broken. They just hide behind money. Ain't nobody doing no work. Stop praising. Something that a lot of us fail to talk about is the fact that as Christians and as believers, we're not supposed to worship idols. Now, a lot of us think that idols are other guys, but for a lot of us, idols can be our children, our jobs, our partners, or anything that takes the place of God. Anything that we put before God becomes an idol. And I had to realize that even for my relationship with my partner, there was some idolizing going on. And anytime there is idolizing, God will, God will definitely cause some disruption to bring you back to reality to let you know that he's the one and only true and living God. So anytime I'm supposed to do something for Christ and I decide that it's time that I can spend with my partner, that's idol worship. Anytime that I decide that I'm not going to go to church because I want to go on a date or brunch with my partner, that is idol worship. Anything that I decide to put before anything that I need to do for God or with God is idol worship. Don't make God take away the things that you love because you decide to put it before him. Okay. He comes first. He's our only God, period. Some of you guys have placed these celebrities above God. Check yourself. You praise these celebrities. If you die tomorrow, they are not worried about you. The only relationship, the only person that you should put up on that pedestal is God. There is no other person. It's weird. It's weird. And that's idolatry. God does not want anybody above him. So this industry, this entertainment industry, especially for the people that are wanting to be in this industry, be careful because to make it to be that top, top, top percent may require you to make sacrifices. As so many celebrities have already spoken out, even Will Vicky just attending, just to attend a party, they wanted her blood. These celebrities, they gotta repent. Y'all be thinking y'all can, y'all, you guys will live forever, and that's not the case. Like I always tell you guys, it's happening. When you worship celebrities, it just blurs your sense of reality, and you lose yourself within it. You guys, let me know what you think. Is this a good thing, a bad thing? Do you know people who worship celebrities that just go too far for their favorite artist or their favorite movie star? You guys let me know in your comments down below and I'll let you guys know and I'll respond to you guys in my morning show, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. All right, love you guys. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.